So, I am talking to her, and I ask her, if you have a boyfriend, why do you bring me here? And she's like, I don't know. Then she goes on her tippy toes and puts her hand on my stomach. Did you get it? Not really. Help. Someone's calling for help. You want some chips? Help, they're chasing me. They after my lunch money. Come here little fella. We just want to know which team you support. Wow, guys, doing raids before supper? Thanks. And who the hell are you? Me? You're asking me? I'm looking at you, so I'm asking. Are you a moron or what? No. Then who? Someone you don't mess with. There are three of us here, and I don't think that twink on the roof will be helping you. There are three of us too. Yeah. I can see that. Patrick, step aside. Can we just go our separate ways in peace? There's no going back from this, Circle Boy. Come here. Let me go. Okay. Come here, big guy. Not in the face. I'm so angry. Okay, hear me out. What if I apologize? That's a nice hammer fist. Thanks for helping Seva. No problem. Respect that you took up the fight. Seriously respect. Now gentlemen, now you get up, grab your toys, and head home. Chop shop. Thanks for the help. No worries. Okay, give me those chips. You serious? Sorry, it's a habit. Don't they feed you at home? They do. Sometimes too much. A hungry child is a growing child. It's hard to break old habits. Unfortunately. Someone might have to repay their favor, and buy us some chips. Does homework count? You are already doing this for me. Now we're negotiating new terms. Oh boy. You are well off, right? Your dad drives a Mercedes, doesn't he? Well, my dad does, not me. So, it's settled. A big pack plus an energy drink for each of us. I don't know about that. So I ask her, why when we go out together you don't say anything? I end up monologuing, thinking we're not connecting. But when we get home, she texts me for a solid two hours, telling me not to go to bed but to chat with her. And she just looked at me and didn't say anything. Girls are weird these days. If everyone had your problems, the world would be a better place. And where did you come from? You called me. I thought we didn't. It would have been nice if you called earlier, not at the last minute, as usual. I'm always the last one. Maybe because you're saved as the last one, ever thought about that? Sometimes you don't call at all. Maybe she just feels weird around you. What are you talking about? That earlier topic. We already changed it. I know, but you left the question, so I wanted to address it. It's been a while since I said anything. That's how it is. Some people can talk. They have good articulation. They can discuss interesting things. Then there are those who have nothing to say, or they are afraid to speak. Just like at their homes. They just turn on the TV and passively watch events that will happen without their input, just like their social life man. He's always like this. I'm just saying. How does anyone feel weird around me? You know, you look kinda menacing. What's menacing about me? You're just big guy. How do you know? Everyone can see that. Guess I need looser pants. Am I menacing to you guys? Sometimes, but I still like you. Thanks bro. Being tall has its perks. If I were 6 feet tall like you, everything would change. I'm not 6 feet, give me a break. Is being 6 feet tall not considered manly territory? No. Yes. If you're not 6 feet tall, it's over. Not true. Easy for you to say. Ask Ivo. He's short but don't have any problems with women. I don't know. I'm telling you, find your niche. It'll be easier. Some girls like tall guys, 
even if they're a bit ugly, they can forgive them that. Then there are those who prefer a certain type. Long head. Yeah, like him. What are you guys called? That look. But still, I'm telling you, no matter how tall you are, looks trump everything. If you're skinny as a stick but have a model's face, you don't even need to hit the gym. So, you're suggesting I just become handsome? Yeah. Wow, what a great advice. Why I hadn't thought of that. You should think about it. Being tall isn't all that great. Give me 25 examples. Well, you said that I'm menacing. Sometimes it's hard to connect with guys because they're scared to be around you. One wrong word, and you have the upper hand. They'd rather not be near you, especially if their girlfriend is nearby. You wouldn't do that to us. Oh, come on, I've known you since. Since when? Since high school. Since kindergarten. Oh, I remember. I was short. Like this short. Thanks. Any other examples? Why do you need more examples? Can't base a theory on just one. Oh no, we got a debate bro over here. Do you have examples or not? For instance, let me think. Womanlets. What about them? They're all over me. Oh no, tragedy. Right? Out of all the girls I've met, somehow these really short ones get flirty when they're next to me. Always touching me or leaning on me. Weird because I met a very tall girl once, probably a model. Very skinny, long legs, low body fat, and she didn't care how tall I was. Strange because someone like her should look at the guy like me and say, Wow, finally a guy taller than me. But no, the taller the girl, the less she cares about the guy's height. Is it possible to find a girl shorter than me? Go to the circus. A circus girl isn't bad either. Flexible, athletic. And she can juggle. Talented in the hands, a good catch. But probably she will cheat on you with, ringmaster and his whip. Maybe there's some truth to that. These short ones subconsciously know they lost the lottery and are looking for someone to help them break the manlet curse. Is height always after the father? Nah, my dad was shorter than my mom, if I remember correctly. And I got my height from my mom. And this guy here, his mom is short, but his dad is tall, and he looks more like his mom. I'm telling you, it's a coin flip. Serves her right for chasing lanklets. Does he look the same as you? Well, he looks more like me than him. Looks roided. Thanks, Pa. No problem. He looks just like you. Told you he's big. That's not what I meant. Are you saying you're the son of someone shorter than your mom? What are you suggesting? Nothing, not suggesting, just saying your theory is flawed. Maybe it is a coin toss, but what if you don't even get a chance to toss? What if they swapped you at the hospital? Does your dad looks like that long-haired guy? Nah, 